and unless there are significant nerve compression that lead to either numbness or weakness, cervical spondylosis doesn't need any surgical intervention. Today in next gen neurosurgery, we are going to talk about spondylosis. You may have heard cervical spondylosis, lumbar spondylosis. Patients come with this uh, diagnosis of spondylosis and ask us whether we can operate and cure it. We need to understand lumbar or cervical spondylosis means wear and tear of the tissues with thickening of tissues. And unless there are significant nerve compression that lead to either numbness or weakness, cervical spondylosis doesn't need any surgical intervention. So it has to be very clear. Sometimes patients bring the written reports saying that there's significant problem in the cervical region or in the lumbar region and they are really scared to do their day-to-day -day activities. But unfortunately, this is not a condition that you have to be afraid because it is uh, just a wear and tear of the spine and can be cured with physical therapy as well as some activities and adjustment of the lifestyle. So this is a condition which is very harmless that requires only non-surgical treatment to cure if you are having this problem. 